underground railway station. The surface is 400,000 square meters. And inside, we feel that the railway station is very vast and we feel very small. Compared with other railway stations in inland China, there you can see in the architectural structure, we have the steel frames in the form of the waves. The highest could be 45 meters. This is an observation about the structure of the architecture. And now let's move forward. This is the ground floor. And there is the entrance for the West Kowloon Railway and High Speed Railway. Tourists and also travelers, they could take the subways and other public transportation to reach this West Kowloon High Speed Railway station. This is the weekend day, so people are coming here to have a visit to the new railway station. A lot of people are taking photos just in front of this broad. And when people in Hong Kong to visit inland China, they have also taken the high speed railway. When we are communicating with them, we find that they are also very proud of the high speed railway development in China. Now the high speed railway could reach their door and they are rushing to the high speed railway station at the first moment to know how to buy a ticket and how to take a train. This is a transparent glass wall to let the light in. Today, due to the weather reason and due to the limited area of the opening, we cannot show you the out appearance of the high speed railway station. And from outside, when you look at the railway station, you could see that it's like the waves flowing. Later, when we get out of this railway station, maybe we could show you the paranorma. And it's located in a very beautiful scenic spot. Now we are at L1 level. We have passed by the footbridge. And now we are going to take the elevator to reach the railway station level. For the ground floor and the footbridge level, these are the two specific parts of our railway station. There's a tunnel for people to pass through the footbridge to connect the bus station, the subway station, and also the railway station. So it's very easy and convenient for them to reach the downtown area in only 10 minutes or more. In the West Kowloon High Speed Railway Station, it's like it's in the hub of transportation. And now we are going to the ticketing center, ticketing hall. If you travel from England, China to Hong Kong or in an other way, what will be the ticket cost you and how could we get a ticket for yourself? And below that, for the B2 and B3M and B3 level, there is the entrance and exit. 
and very convenient procedures for you to get into and out of Hong Kong. And for B4 level, there are 15 platforms, including the long distance and short distance platforms. So we will go with the passengers and visitors down to the B1 level to reach the ticketing concourse. From the design of the high-speed railway station in West Kowloon, you can see it's very friendly to the visitors and passengers. You will never get lost here because all the signals are very clear and you have the board of communication for you to see the information. For Hong Kong, they have waited since 2000 to have a high-speed railway station. The government in Hong Kong has already planned the construction since long. However, only started by 2008, they started a company, an organization, for the construction of the high-speed railway. And in 2010, they started the procedure with the logistic part and also the approval from the government and other authorities. In 22 days, by the 23rd of September 2018, these railway stations for high-speed trains will be put into operation. The morning, the 23rd, the first train that they will send out will be connecting West Kowloon High-Speed Railway Station and the High-Speed Railway Station in Shenzhen City. And we are taking the elevator down to the core of the high-speed railway station. This is the ticket concourse. There are lots of people here. They are gathering in the place to know some more information about this new place, their first high-speed railway station. There are also a lot of colleagues from the media, from the press. It's only open to the public by 10 o'clock. However, by 8 already, Dozens of media have gathered here and more than 100 colleagues are gathering in the railway station in order to make this report. Let's look at the general situation of this hall. And this is the level for security control for ticket Those are the two major functions. And it is written, self-service ticket purchase and collection. And very rapidly, I'd like to give you some background knowledge. Because it's not yet officially launched for the operation, for the details of the ticket purchase, it's not decided yet. For the first half of September, Passengers traveling from Hong Kong or England, China could try to book a ticket on the system. Later, we will show you some channels and platforms for you to book the ticket. And because there is the entrance and exit across the border, it will be more complicated for you to book a ticket in comparison with one booking for the ticket among the cities in England, China.
for the railway company in Hong Kong. There are 44 stations published. I'd like to read to you the 44 stations because you may be interested in the future traveling possibilities, whether you could go to Hong Kong directly from your city. So for the Beijing and Guangzhou line, Shaoguan, Liuzhou West, Zhuzhou West, Changsha, Wuhan, Zhengzhou, Shijiazhuang, and Beijing. For another line, Guiyang, Guilin, Shanghai, Hangzhou, Kunming, Nanchang, Shangrao, and Nanchang. And another line, Pingshan, Huizhou South, Huidong, Lufeng, Shanwei, Puning, Chaoyang, Shantou, Raoping, Shaoan, Yunxiao, Zhangpu, Jiaomei, Zhangzhou, Xiamen North, Quanzhou, Putian, and Fuzhou. Now you can see that those cities in inland China will be in the future connected to Hong Kong by the high-speed railway. If you take those lines of the railways, then you could directly get to Hong Kong station. And you may also be interested in other short and short distance travels and long distance travels. From the West Kowloon Railway Station, it will take 14 minutes to get to the Putian Railway Station in Shenzhen City and 8 hours and 56 minutes to get to Beijing, the capital city of China. And people now can have their very convenient traveling. Those are the self-service machines for the purchase and collection of tickets. And I will show you a little bit about how we could buy a ticket on the machine. And by the two ends of this hall, there are self-service machines. You don't have to walk a lot to get your tickets. And inside this hall, you can get all your problems solved. And for the local railway company, they have sent a lot of colleagues and workers to be in the place to help you and answer your questions. After the purchase of the ticket, and you have to buy your ticket with your ID card, you have to show your ID card and try to pass by this ticket control site. And this is the layout I'd like to show you. And later I will talk about the price. Some of the prices already know. And I will also answer to your questions like whether I could get a ticket online or whether I should uh, use RMB or the Hong Kong dollars to buy the tickets. A lot of medias are here. 
And in order to help you better understand the West Kowloon High-Speed Railway Station, the local company has prepared the games or other information board for you to know the station. For those who have already traveled in the subways of Hong Kong, you may be very familiar with this. This is an information board. Inside this hall, And it's written that the surface of this railway station is 400,000 square meters. In front of us, 28 service windows for the ticket purchase. You have 28 windows like this, among which five are for the purchase of tickets of the trains toward inland China. You can also buy the tickets from inland China to Hong Kong here. There are five windows run by the in England China windows. For passengers in Hong Kong, if in the future you want to travel between cities in England China, then you could buy the tickets from those five windows. You have to pay a little bit as extra service fees, like up to 30 Hong Kong dollars. So when you arrive one day in England, China, you don't need to go to the local railway station to buy tickets again. The windows are not yet in operation. However, you could still have a try. This is like a demonstration part. These are the mimic ones of the ID card and the examples that the workers here are using to do the demonstration. And later, we will also show you an example of the ticket. May I have a look? This is a demonstration ticket. In the future, when you buy tickets here, you can get a ticket like this. And the price here is also for demonstration. It's not the real price. For all the 28 service windows, they are working, although they are not selling the tickets. And people, they are very interested in this opening of the railway station, if you have if you want to know once again the stations in England China connected to the West Kowloon station, I'd like to repeat to you In Hong Kong, usually these kind of public openings are very often made. I also would like to continue to guide you around to see the infrastructures inside the railway station. And workers, they are in the service center in the ticket windows in order to show the demonstration to the visitors. 
Over there, it said, "Please go to the other windows for service." Here, there are five windows for ticket. And these five windows, they are offering actually tickets connecting inland China cities. And for all the windows with a person inside, with a worker inside, to the other side of the glass, you can see that a lot of visitors are gathering to ask questions. On the screen, the promotion video and some other information useful for you to know. Just now, we have also seen. A lot of self-service machines, and in the middle there are other service workers for your ticket. It's still more than two twenty twenty-two days away from the official operation. So let's check whether there is a machine. That is working for the purchase and collection of the tickets. And during the operation, I'd like to answer to your questions related to the ticket purchase. Now the workers are operating on the machines. Let's have a look. Hello, I'm from CCTV. We are doing a live stream program. Could you please tell us how to manipulate this machine and buy the tickets? So let's get back to the main page. So I will speak Mandarin for you to understand. This is the main page. And here, with the loop, you can press here for the Ticket purchasing. Then you can select your departure station, your arrival destination. And this is for short distance. Let's look at the long distance. For example, Beijing West, Zhengzhou East. And those are destinations popular among the Hong Kong residents because those inland China cities they have very beautiful scenery. The system is still under test. You can choose first class, second class is adults or it's for children. This is for the number of tickets. And then leave your mobile phone number. 
you want the information sent by SMS to your mobile phone, you could leave your phone number. If not, you could just skip the page. And you could choose uh, to buy the ticket by the ID card of England China or your card in Hong Kong. I will give you a demonstration here. You can use your credit card or you can pay with cash. First, you should show your ID card or the travel permit or your resident card in Hong Kong. And then you could choose to pay in cash 10, 20, 100 Hong Kong dollars, or you can use the octopus card. The maximum account is 1,000 Hong Kong dollars. For the tickets from Hong Kong to Beijing, it's more than 1,000 Hong Kong dollars. And here, to use the self-service purchase machine, the maximum amount is 1,000 US do uh, sorry, 1,000 Hong Kong dollars. So it means to buy a ticket from West Kowloon to West Beijing, you have to go to main service. And for the collection, if you have already reserved a ticket online, and then you could just come and collect the ticket here with the machine. When I show you ID card, directly the information will be read by the machine. You will enter the number of your booking, and then the ticket is out. And you can also have the receipt. So today, lots of people are here, right? Yes, the citizens in Hong Kong, they are enthusiastic about the opening day. What's your feeling? We are here to do the demonstration. You have, if you have extra problems, uh, please go to that windows. In two days, the railway station will receive a large number of visitors. And in order to come, First of all, the company has published 20,000 tickets for this opening day, and in just a few hours of time, the water tickets have been distributed. And here you have workers showing you how to buy the ticket, how to collect the ticket. And here with me, I have them pricing for the tickets. Trains from the Rest Kowloon High Speed Railway Station could cover short distance and long distance travels. Here I have a table 
for Huoman, Guangzhou South, Qingsheng, Guangmingcheng, and uh, Futian. It takes 68 RMB or 78 Hong Kong dollars to come from West Kowloon Station to Futian Station. And there is a problem with the exchange rate. According to the press conference of the Hong Kong Railway Company, every month they will change or update the exchange rate with their ticket price. If you buy here in the West Kowloon Station, the tickets for the traveling between two England China stations, you could just pay with RMB. For the travelers, they will consider different elements in order to make their choice, whether it is comfortable or whether it's more expensive or less expensive to take a certain kind of transportation. Here I have another information. For the second class, for long distance travels, their pricing level from West Kowloon to Beijing. In RMB, it takes 1,077 yuan. If it is calculated in Hong Kong dollars, it's 1,239. And to Shanghai, it's 1,088 yuan. And 935 RMB to Hangzhou City. For those who are interested, you could have a look at the list. Those are the major long distance stations covered. And the duration, the farthest is 8 hours and 56 minutes to connect West Kowloon to Beijing. And the shortest distance is from West Kowloon to Futian. And according to the regulations of England China Railway companies, there is the discount or preferential pricing for some passengers for example, uh, the children under a certain height. And for students, for students, every year they can have four times of discount, the student price. So for students from Hong Kong and who are learning in England, China, they can use those discount student pricing when they are traveling from home to school. And here, there are a lot of citizens. And there are also signals directing to the washroom and baby care room. And some other games and interactions. If you win the game, you could also have a small gift. By playing the games, you could know more about this high-speed railway station. Uh, 
有点赞的这个接驳，它叫接驳驿。接驳呢，就是说，那我到了这里来之后，到了呃西九龙。We do have a lot of people here, and people are queuing. So let's just have a look here. For each game, there's a purpose to help you to know some new things, some knowledge about this railway station. Here is a. This is a test to help you to recite to remember which are the ways to help you to travel from the West Kowloon High Speed Railway Station to downtown area. For example, you could take the bus. You could take the subway. So that is a quiz for people to know the infrastructure settings. And here is just another game for the distance between two different stations. In Hong Kong, the high-speed railway will only run in the tunnels. In the downtown areas, because we don't have enough space for the new railways, so all the trains, the high-speed trains, will only run underground through the tunnels in Xinjie. They have also constructed new tunnels through mountains. In Shigang, there is a place to gather all the trains out of service, the storage of high-speed railways. For the maintenance of the railways and the tests and controls of the high-speed railways, it's also very complicated. I've studied a lot in recent days about these maneuvers, and I know it will be a very huge project. Some of the areas are still not open inside this railway station. So today, this level with the ticketing house and ticket control, this area is open to the public already. And under this level, we have one departure hall, another entrance hall, and the last one, the B4 level, is the platform.
They are about to leave this level. If there were fewer people, maybe we could show you more clearly the layout of this infrastructure. Let's go to the security control to show you the entrance and exit hall. It's very crowded. However, you will not miss those signals and information board panels. If you travel to Shenzhen, in the past, when you take a flight by departure and by arrival, you have to go through some procedures. When you travel from Hong Kong to Shenzhen, then at the port check, maybe you think you have to take all the luggages with you and go through those procedures. And then you will continue with your travel. You put all your luggages back to the train. And it's the same with the other way around. And passengers may find it really difficult, especially when you're traveling with a lot of luggages or with large luggages. So let's talk about this new system, the one place, two checks inside the West Kowloon railway station. We can do the checks by once. You don't have to take your luggages out and back into the train again. So you will just accomplish all the procedures needed here in the station, and then you're at ease when you start traveling by train. In front of us on the screen, this is the promotion video, and I think it's very interesting to have a look at it. This is an introduction about the arrival clearance. This is the waiting hall for departure. This is the word the platform. This video will be repeated again and again. And for the arrival clearance, the customs of Finland China all the procedures for you. For that section in England, China,
Just one hundred meters after the departure appearance, a departure clearance, you could come to this side for the arrival clearance. That's why just now I said that from now on you don't have to take your luggages on um, and off the board. After all the procedures, you're about to take the train, you're getting to the train, and you're about to start your trip. For the clearance of departure and arrival, the procedures are similar. So let's look at the clearance hall. We have the glass walls. But through the glass, we can have a look. The lowest level is for the waiting section. When we are leaving, when we are departure, the departure clearance is down there. And the waiting hall. And ahead is the ticket control and platforms. Above this level, it's the entrance, it's the arrival clearance hall. From the video, you know that you pass through the Chinese customs, and 100 meters away, is the entrance procedure site for Hong Kong site. And after both procedures, you could leave the station. You can go to take a taxi, you could go to the subway and also the bus station. It's very convenient. From the ticket purchase to the clearance and to finally the platforms is very convenient. And here you have the pose of the light. made of steel. Because the whole railway station is in the steel structure, there are lights on the top And there's a circle of the surveillance cameras. And over there on the wall, there's also a circle of facilities like the surveillance cameras. Inside the hall, when you look around, you could find those facilities around you. This is the infrared network. 
In the films, you have seen the scenarios like this. The infrared, they have created a very complicated networks to have a control of the frogs and temperature and other strange objects. If there is a dangerous signal detected, then there will be water coming out from this circle of facilities. These are the security measures prepared by the local railway station. When you have your ticket, you could go through the ticket control, your security control, and here is for the ID check. You have your ID information printed on the ticket. After this ticket control, you will go through the security control. On the platforms, there are 15 platforms, among which nine are for long distance travels and another six platforms for short distance travels. Here is an indication. This is the train named Dynamism. It's a little bit different from the other high-speed railways in inland China. It has the form of the bullet train. For those long distance trains, they are made and offered by the inland China railway companies. So those trains will just be the same with those that you are taking every day in inland China. And for this uh, dynamism, the new bullet train is a new type. Because today the platforms are not open to the public, so it's a pity that we cannot get you down to the platforms and inside this new bullet train. This vibrant express is already very mature prototype. It's assembled and produced in Qingdao and then sent to Hong Kong. Here you can see the models of this vibrant express. Their traveling distance could circle the Earth for several rounds. And since this express will only cover short distances for each trip, so there are only eight sections apart from the hat and the tail. The six sections in the middle are the wagons for the passengers. 
and divide it into the first class and the second class. And because it's covering the short distances, so there will not be a wagon, especially for the restaurant, for dining. And we have the main tone as in gray color. Decorated with yellow and red. And you know that in England, China, and in Hong Kong, the plugs are not in the same form. So under each seat. You can find different plugs. And it's very comfortable when you're sitting inside the train. Another round of passengers visiting here. In Hong Kong, the drivers were the pilots for the high speed railways. They have received the training so that they can cover the short distance travels. For Hong Kong, from Hong Kong to Guangzhou South, this trip is run by the Hong Kong company. And the workers on that train will come from the West Kowloon railway station. And for some other traveling lines, the task will be accomplished by the express and high speed railways trains from the inland China. The design speed is 350 kilometers. In the downtown areas, the maximum speed is 200 kilometers. And once outside the downtown area, it could start to accelerate to reach 300 kilometers. And the drivers told me that is very exciting. And we can understand why they are so ex excited about this new traveling lines. We have planned the routes for visits. And then I'd like to show you the entrance, the great entrance for the high speed railway station, and show you the panorama of this railway station.
，但是这个市民的热情还很高。那么我们呢，现在就是到这个。Here you can see some paintings showing you the design and the art in the construction of the railway station. This is one of the main entrance of the West Kowloon High Speed Railway Station. So in the future, you could come in by this entrance. So let's show you the panorama. It's in the waves, in the form of the waves. Over there, you could see the residences and communities. And this pathway is connecting the two ends of communities. Over there is very cloudy, and there is even the fog. But however, you can still tell that it's the Victoria Port. That means this is the high-speed railway station by the sea. And here is the also cultural circle. That is the landmark. The West Kowloon Cultural Circle is designed and planned by local government. They also have the visual art area, the parks, and other art centers. In the future, you can have a chance to know the world-class artistic performance. You could see the master-level performances. And just now you have seen that it's very crowded inside the railway station, so we could not give you too many details. However, you may understand how to buy the tickets and how to get to your train after rounds and rounds of procedures. From now on, Hong Kong is more closely connected to the mainland China with the operation of a new high-speed railway stations. For residents in Hong Kong, Taiwan, and Macau, they can also ask for a living card in England, China. They could also send their children into school in England, China. That means in the future there will be more communication and exchanges among the people in mainland China, in Hong Kong, and Macau, and Taiwan. And in the future, to reach the city of Guangzhou, the duration of travel will be cut shorter. 
直播呢，今天先在这里告一段落。我们也是希望，无论是香港市民还是我们内地的居民。The distance of this travel from Hong Kong to the England China cities, like Guangzhou, may be not too long. However, it's very important for the connection between two sides. So, by the side of the Victoria Port. We sincerely hope that in the future, the people-to-people -people exchange will be more, and connection would be more convenient. So, thank you for watching.